South Asian Film Festival is dedicated to fostering a diverse cinematic experience through South Asian films. With film premieres, artists' question and answers, speaker series, workshops, film awards, dazzling receptions and networking events. The Week Club Festival celebrates cinema in the warm and personable style that is unique to Chicago. The red carpet event of the 7th Annual Film Festival was held at Icon Theatre in Chicago on October 6th, where TV Asia team talked to the organizers and the actors. The new regional film is distributed by Red Movies in Seattle area and is a remake of 2012 Malayalam film Shutter with Jogi and Raman writing the dialogues for both versions simultaneously. The film is set against the backdrop of Ram Nomi Festival. A newspaper reported about Kannada version film saying that it is a definite must watch for those who want cinema that does not have the usual action songs and dance routines and look for a good storyline. The performances are the cherry on the cake. The film makes you laugh and sympathize at the plight of the characters. So yes, I'm very happy and honored and excited to be at the South Asia Film Festival. My film Nil Bhatti Sanata, uh, or which is also known as the new classmate. Uh, is uh, the opening film so that's really that's amazing it's a very special film it is a very universal sort of story it's the story of a maid a housemaid uh, chanda whose uh, and only endeavor is that her daughter shouldn't be bound in life by where she was born and it, in some senses it's a very universal story because it really talks about dreams and you know the fact that your dreams don't have to be bound by who you are or what your past has been, that, that your dreams and that dreams actually have the power to transform lives. Air India is very happy to participate in this 7th CSAFF Film Festival. Uh, after Hollywood, India is the next most loved nation in the world for producing quality films and Air India being the national flag carrier, we are very happy to participate. It has been a great learning for all of us who are involved in the festival. Um, every year we got, uh, we have a lot of improvements in the film that we select and uh, it has been a great uh, learning for the team as well as uh, our filmmakers who have been participating. It has been a great support for us. First and foremost, I do want to say a very, a very warm thank you to you, Vandanaji, for everything that you do, for the network, for everything that you've supported us for so long. Since our seven years, you've been there with us. Every I'm selling candy, yeah. Every single year, and um, we have so much support, and because of that, we're able to garner more interest in the festival and have more South Asians understand what we're really doing, and we really appreciate that very much, so thank you. Um, the festival is in its seventh year now, and um, I think the, uh, the best uh, growth story would probably be that in 2013, we had a wonderful film, a beautiful film called uh, Listen to Maya that had premiered our festival and there was a budding talent in that festival that no one knew would be opening our festival in 2016. Sora Bhaskar was in that film and now she is the lead in Neil Bhattisanata and it's a very, um, uh, it's an award-winning film and it kind of shows where, a full circle, how we've grown and she will continue to grow and um, I believe the festival will follow that same trajectory. So this short film is about a boy, 10 year old boy, and his small dream of getting a bicycle and basically the short film unravels how his parents not only receive this request from his you know from his from the kid and also how they go about to make sure that they can get his dream 
you know? So it's a story about hard work, about how to keep hope for the child, and how to never lose that desire, basically, for any small dream that you have. Don't lose that desire. We'll be right back after this shock commercial.